Hey, hey, it's Dr. Yates in Chicago. What we're going to do today, working on celebrity stylist Alex. Um, and what we're going to do is just kind of reshape his hairline. He's had a procedure done before, and if you can come in closer, he's kind of had these angles, you know. You can see he has some hair here. Uh, he had these angles filled, but you see it's kind of just a, a question of density here. We're also going to just kind of color within the lines. We're not pulling anything out. We're staying within the natural margins of the temporal points here. Going to go through here, hairline here, same thing on the other side. And we're also going to put some hair in here because you always have to put hair where they have hair because over time he's going to lose some of this hair. So I want also, let's see, Alex, turn this way a little bit. I want to show you, come around with the camera. This is what this is what a donor scar, this is what a FUT scar looks like when you shave somebody's head. And that's not a bad scar. We're going to put ink in there, micropigmentation, but I don't know why anybody would want to have a scar like this if they don't have to. So the benefit of FUE is that, say he didn't have the scar here, he wouldn't have that in the back. He can wear his hair shorter. And a lot of people will say, well, I'm not going to cut my hair, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do that, so what difference does it make? The truth of the matter is, most of the people we operate on don't know what they're going to do next Tuesday. So they don't know that they, you know, everything in life is options, having the ability to do something you don't think you're going to do. So I never recommend getting an FUT scar. You know, we can get a lot of grafts doing FUE. We can get as many as we want. We go in areas up here, we go here, we go here. Over time, it's my thinking, we can get more grafts over time than you can with getting an FUT scar. That's my personal opinion. So we'll show you at the end of the day, the hairline's been measured. We have a tool to measure the hairline because people who are just starting hair transplants, when they show what they're gonna do to people, always somebody's gonna say, I'm talking about the patient now, say this size lower, this size lower, blah, blah, blah. So we have an instrument which measures it and that puts that issue to rest because that will irritate everybody to know in the patient and the doctor. If somebody keeps saying this and this and pointing here and there, you got to end those arguments before the day starts. Okay, so we'll see you at the end of the day. It's Dr. Yates. Thank you.